leading off for Oklahoma City's second baseman, number 55, Gavin Lux. Aaron Wilkerson facing left-hand batting Gavin Lux to get this one underway. A couple left-handers at the top of Travis Barbary's lineup. And Lux takes a strike to get this one underway at 7.09. 97 degrees, not quite as comfortable as it was at game time in Des Moines, Iowa yesterday when it was a very pleasant 74. I missed that already. Lux takes a strike and Wilkerson ahead down, nothing in two. Gavin having an exceptional season. He's considered one of the top prospects in all of minor league baseball since coming up from AA Tulsa. All he's done is hit 410 with a dozen home runs as he takes inside one ball, two strikes. And between AA Tulsa and Oklahoma City this year, Lux with 57 extra base hits. He's got 25 homers, has knocked in 75 as he takes one low and the count is two and two. And he was the guy when the Dodgers were looking to upgrade the bullpen at the trade deadline. Gavin Lux was the guy that pretty much everyone wanted and the Dodgers absolutely refused to budge and so they came away without making a big trade at the deadline, but they have big plans for him for the future. Wilkerson, meanwhile, paints one on the outside corner and strikes out Lux to get this underway. So one gone in the top of the first inning, Zach McKinstry. We did not see him when we were in OKC in July, and he has uh, made quite an impact since coming up from AA Tulsa. We did see him last year, at the double-A level because he was with the uh, Drillers. I believe he was on the roster. The Drillers, of course, beating the Missions to win the Texas League title. And Wilkerson delivers outside 1-0. Zach so far hitting 482 with seven home runs, 25 driven in. He was three for four with a home run Wednesday against Nashville. Again, Oklahoma City's game against Nashville yesterday canceled because of bad weather. McKinstry lifting this out of play. And that will even things up at one and one as the wind has really picked up since the uh, game got underway a couple of moments ago, blowing in sharply from right field. The old southeast breeze, they say about 13 miles an hour. Wilkerson back one one and a swing and a miss. McKinstry behind one ball and two strikes. Aaron faced Oklahoma City once. That was on April 7th, so it was the opening series of the year up at Bricktown. He allowed one run in five innings and fanned ten Dodger batters. And he got McKinstry on a high fastball. Back-to-back so -back strikeouts. A very auspicious way to get this one started. Two outs here in the first inning for the right hand batting. Right fielder Kyle Garland. This is the strike that Alex tries to say Aaron is hoping for because we you know about Daniel Cresino, how tough he's been, so he's really got to match it pitch for pitch, especially the Bishops want to win this game tonight. So Wilkerson working to Garlic here. Kyle takes a strike. For uh, Garlic in that series in July when the Missions got swept by the Dodgers up north. He was 5 for 9 with a double, a triple, and a homer. Oklahoma City with a number of Missions in this uh, three game set. So the strike one is outside. The Dodgers scored 32 runs. Offensively, as Garlic swings and misses one and two, but they were hitting at such a frenetic pace that you knew there's no way it was sustainable. But boy, they kept it up for over a month, and especially with the the home runs. Like every night, they were hitting about four a game. Garlic rounds one up the middle, but that is where Nate Orf is positioned, playing in the shift and on the first a four three shift. Dodgers got an order as we head to the bottom of the first inning tonight. Dodgers nothing in the middle. One of the two most competitive mascots in the Pacific Coast League, Bonabeno and Henry. 